Hey guys, this is MBell556 and we're back out with the Chiapa. This is our fourth and final test of this gun. We've tried to give you an honest, objective, and fair representation of what you can expect with this gun. On our last video, we spent a lot of time looking at the accuracy that you can expect when you use the 12 gauge caliber conversions. We placed this gun in a vise so we could try to eliminate as much shooter error as possible. One thing that we overlooked when we had this gun in a vise to check for accuracy is looking at the accuracy of the 20, 12 gauge and 22 long rifle barrels that are on the gun. So what we're going to do today, we've placed the gun in a vise. I've zeroed it using the 22 long rifle. So I used the 22 long rifle. We zeroed the gun. I had to adjust the windage almost all the way over to the left. As far as the elevation setting, it's all the way forward, which is the lowest position of the rear sight. Now the game plan today is we're going to, number one, evaluate the accuracy of the 12 gauge using Forrester slugs. We'll do three headshots and we'll do three center of mass shots at 25 yards. And then we're going to evaluate the 22 long rifle. One question came up because of the design of this gun, as opposed to some over under double guns with shotguns and rifles that are welded all the way down the length of the barrel. This gun has a barrel sleeve on the front and then it's attached at the receiver. And the question came up as far as getting these barrels warm. Will that cause the 22 long rifle to lose accuracy? So to address this, what we're going to do is I'll take three headshots with the barrels cold. It's probably around 45 degrees today. So we'll shoot and give it a minute or two between shots and do three headshots with 22 long rifle cold barrel. And then I'll take the barrel and I'll shoot 15 rapid shots to get the barrel warmed up as much as I can today. And then we'll do a three shot group at the center of mass that we've labeled 22 long rifle hot. And then we'll review the results when we're done. Now, if you've seen any of our previous reviews of the Chiapa, you've seen me shoot this gun plenty of times. So we're gonna try to cut through all that. We're not gonna make you sit through that. I think for fun, I'll video me shooting some of the slugs just so you can see me being punished. This is supposedly low recoil. We'll find out. But otherwise, we're going to break away now. We're going to do the shooting, and then we'll come back and review the findings and kind of wrap it up. And then the slugs. We'll do three headshots and three center of mass shots and I'll hold it tight Here are our results, looking at the 22 long rifle and 12 gauge. We took three shots with a cold barrel using the 22 long rifle. They were head shots, they were all a little high and to the left, but the group was very tight. You can see that all of these shots are within about an inch of each other. Then. I shot the gun rapidly, as rapidly as I could. I fired 15 shots to warm up the barrel. And then we did the 22 long rifle hot shots at the center of mass. They were actually closer to the point of aim. And once again, all three shots are within an inch of each other. Certainly, we did not see any kind of stringing out. 
when we warmed up the barrel between the hot barrel 22 long rifle and the cold barrel 22 long rifle. Then we took the Forrester slugs, rifled slugs with a hollow point and a hollow tail. We did three headshots at 25 yards. They were all low. The grouping is about four inches further distance between the three shots. Then we did three center of mass shots, about three inches further spread between the shots. And this was with the sights zeroed in for the 22 long rifle barrel at 25 yards using foster slugs. We've tried to give you an objective and honest evaluation of this new Chiapa Excalibur. We've had this gun out now four times. We found strengths and weaknesses in this platform. Certainly the strengths include the fact that you have the power of a 12 gauge shotgun. You have the versatility of multiple centerfire pistol rounds that can be used with this platform with the provided adapters. Some of the weaknesses we pointed out include the fact that the plastic rails are not durable. And there was a lot of concern about the stock material. And I don't like the fact that the ammunition is left uncovered. Keep in mind that the adapters could be used in other 12 gauge shotguns as well. I hope you found the information useful. If you did, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.